The following is a paid program brought to you by the Green Party of Canada. As Canadians, we all have a critical decision to make about our future on May 2nd. How will you vote? What issues are important to you and your family? Which of the political parties do you believe is dealing with those issues? There are a variety of conflicting emotions running through Canadians' minds as Election Day approaches. Many of us find ourselves losing confidence in the way our government functions. We're feeling frustrated and confused by the old-school politicians who treat democracy like their own personal game. Many have given up hope of a return to civil politics and don't believe that anyone is trying to create new solutions to our country's problems. Worst of all, far too many Canadians feel like they're wasting their time voting for the same party they've always voted for, for the same tired ideas and stale platforms. Is this the way you've been feeling during the 2011 election campaign? Don't worry, you're not alone. Millions of Canadians are feeling the same way this election. They realize that a crisis is occurring in Canadian politics and they feel powerless to do anything about it. They look at the choices offered by Canada's traditional parties and they don't like what they see. During the election, and even before the election was called, we have been bombarded with attack ads, scandals, a muzzled media, and the treatment of Parliament with contempt. Day in and day out, we're inundated by bickering, mudslinging, and the same old promises and outdated platforms we've heard over and over. Faced with a global climate crisis that will impact every Canadian, record high youth unemployment, a massive deficit and the implications of an aging population, you would think the old party leaders would be doing more than trading insults and pointing fingers. What would you say if we told you there is one party in this election looking forward, not backward? A party offering solutions to the problems that affect your family today and thinking about how to make a better world for our children and grandchildren. You might be surprised to hear that party is the Green Party of Canada. Welcome to Across Canada. Welcome to the launch of the Green Party of Canada national campaign. For nearly two decades, the Green Party has been a bright light shining across Canada's political landscape, offering positive solutions and real alternatives to the outdated ideas offered by old school politicians. If you're one of the millions of Canadians who is feeling disaffected this election, who has lost confidence in government, and who's looking for vibrant, fresh ideas for fixing our country's problems, this is your opportunity to find out more about this exciting party and its bold, visionary leader, Elizabeth May. The Green Party's roots go back to the environmental movements of the 1960s. Over the past four decades, their ideals of positive environmental action, progressive social planning, and responsible, accountable government has led to the creation of over 100 Green Parties worldwide. Here at home, the Green Party of Canada was formed in 1983, and by the 2004 election was running candidates in every Canadian riding, only the fourth party in our history to reach that milestone. In 2006, the party elected a bright, charismatic new leader, Elizabeth May, whose history of activism and social commitment has made her the perfect choice to lead the hard-working, energetic Green Team. Under Elizabeth's leadership, Canadians have been drawn to voting Green. From 2006 to 2008 alone, the Green vote in Canada has grown by 41.3%. In 2008, it increased its share of the popular vote from 4.5 to 6.8% and was, in fact, the only mainstream party to see an increase. Coming up, you'll meet Elizabeth May and discover why she's not only winning voter support, but also the hearts and minds of so many Canadians.
It's time to join the almost one million Canadians who vote green. The tide is turning in Canadian politics towards positive solutions and a brighter future. Like lower taxes for families. New green jobs and training for young Canadians and tax credits for green living. We need Elizabeth May and the Green Party in the House of Commons. It's time. Vote green. For more on the new green economy, go to greenparty.ca. Hi, my name is Elizabeth May. I'm the leader of the Green Party of Canada. And in this election, you have a chance to make history. You can make history by sending a message to Ottawa that you're tired of negative politicking. You're sick of partisanship that gets in the way of solutions. By voting for the Green Party and sending our MPs to Ottawa, you'll put to work people who don't care who gets the credit. We just want to get things done. We have a vision that you can embrace. A vision for a healthy Canada, a greener Canada, for a future in which our communities are strong. We've modernized our economy, creating millions of new jobs. That future lies in wait for all of us if we just act together now. By voting green, you'll be sending a message. You'll be sending hardworking, dedicated people of integrity to represent you in Parliament. In this election, make history. Vote green. be voting for this election. Someone who represents a new generation in Canadian politics. An MP who will address the really tough environmental issues. Who's willing to look at the long term. Someone who will preserve our natural resources. An MP who shares my values. Who doesn't just talk about being tough on crime. Here in Saanich Gulf Islands, we have an amazing opportunity. In this election, we can make history. It's time. Vote Green. If you watched the recent leadership debates, you might have felt like you were in a time warp. Four of the five party leaders going round and round in circles, offering the same tired ideas, bickering amongst themselves and, in the end, not really saying much of anything. It didn't have to be that way. We could have heard another voice in the debates, a voice that would have offered positive new ideas, someone who would have forced her opponents to deal with the issues and the facts. The voice that was missing was Elizabeth May, the leader of the Green Party of Canada. Elizabeth May has built a long history as a committed and dedicated advocate. She has fought tirelessly for social justice, the environment, human rights, and for practical economic solutions. She's an environmentalist, author, activist, and lawyer who has been an integral part of the environmental movement for over four decades. When Elizabeth's parents moved their family to Nova Scotia, she worked as a waitress and cook in the family business. During this time, her passion for the environment was already growing. She first came to the media's attention in the mid-1970s as a volunteer leader in the fight against proposed aerial insecticide spraying on forests near her home on Cape Breton. During that long, difficult fight, she was instrumental in preventing aerial insecticide spraying from ever occurring in Nova Scotia, the only province where that happened. Her volunteer work has also included successful campaigns to prevent uranium mining in Nova Scotia and extensive work on energy policy issues. Elizabeth is a graduate of Dalhousie Law School and was admitted to the bar in both Nova Scotia and Ontario. She has held the position of Associate General Counsel for the Public Interest Advocacy Centre, representing consumer, poverty and environment groups, and has worked extensively with Indigenous peoples both internationally and with Canadian First Nations. In 1986, Elizabeth became Senior Policy Advisor to the Federal Environment Minister, her first role in federal politics. She was instrumental in the creation of several national parks and in negotiations to protect the ozone layer. Just two years later, she put her principles into action, resigning her position to protest the government's granting of land permits in northern Saskatchewan without any environmental assessment. Elizabeth's actions proved to be right when the federal court later decided that the permits had been granted illegally. Elizabeth has taught at both Queen's and Dalhousie universities. She is the author of seven books, including 2009's Losing Confidence, Power, Politics and the Crisis in Canadian Democracy, which outlines many of her political beliefs and focuses on her ideas for saving Canadian democracy. 
Her long history of environmental activism has taken her across Canada and around the world. She has made it her life's work to fight for the environmental, social and political rights of Canadians from coast to coast. Along the way, she's been on a 17-day hunger strike served on numerous boards of environmental groups and advisory bodies to universities and governments in Canada and received a variety of accolades. She was honored with the Outstanding Achievement Award from Sierra Club Canada, the International Conservation Award from the Friends of Nature, and the United Nations Global 500 Award. She was also named one of the world's leading women environmentalists by the United Nations. In 2006, Elizabeth was presented with the prestigious Kuchiching Award for Excellence in Public Policy. Her environmental work has been profiled in numerous documentaries, including the final episode of the acclaimed CBC series, Canada, A People's History. Elizabeth was named an Officer of the Order of Canada in 2005, and in November 2010, Newsweek magazine named her one of the world's most influential women. Beyond the accolades and awards, Elizabeth May has earned the respect and admiration of Canadians. As a mother and grandmother, she understands the issues that affect families across this country. From her home in Sydney, British Columbia, she sees the environmental perils of our country firsthand. During the campaign, in her own riding of Saanich Gulf Islands, she has developed a keen understanding of the issues affecting her constituents. And, on the national campaign trail, she has met tens of thousands of Canadians, learning about what makes us both diverse and united. Every day, she is winning more and more supporters who believe that she is the best choice to lead our country into the future. Someone who has the intelligence, honesty, and positive approach Canada needs to restore the true essence of democracy and move forward into the future. The Green Party may have started out as an environmental movement, but today it has grown into a powerful political force in Canada. Green members are fighting hard on issues that affect all of us. When we return, we'll introduce you to the most innovative political platform in Canada. One that addresses the most important concerns in all of our lives and offers practical, groundbreaking solutions. You'll learn about a vision of the future that deals with real issues and positive ideas and you may be very surprised to discover how close that vision is to your own. They are your neighbors, co-workers, hockey coaches, local business owners, community leaders. These are your local Green Party candidates, working hard to make a difference in your community, standing up for what's right, and committed to making Canada a better place for all of us to live and work. It's time. Vote Green. Hi, my name is Elizabeth May. I'm the leader of the Green Party of Canada, and I'm very proud and honoured to be able to address you today. The Green Party is not like any of the other parties on the political scene. One of the things that makes us different is that we want to change the way politics is conducted in Canada. At a very fundamental level, we want to restore respect and civility to our House of Commons. We think question periods should be an episode where we don't feel we need to usher our children from the room lest they pick up bad habits. Democracy is fundamental. We should respect our traditions of parliamentary democracy and ensure that the way in which we conduct ourselves in Parliament does nothing but make the voters proud. Our policies look to a bright future for Canada. We're a party that actually has embraced modernizing our economy, finding ways to create millions of new jobs, rebalance our tax system to reduce the burden on low-income and middle-class families. We see a bright future for Canada, where we work together for positive solutions. We must protect our health care system. We must address the climate crisis. These issues can no longer be ignored by parties that were, are so busy attacking each other that they forget that there are large challenges that we could all solve if we work together. The Green Party stands for positive, pragmatic, down-to-earth solutions. I think when you look at our platform, you'll like what you see. Go to greenparty.ca, contact me if you have any questions. It's time for positive change in Canada. It's time to make history. It's time 
Vote Green. Who will you be voting for this election? Someone with a national child care program that makes sense. Someone who represents a new generation. I'm looking for a leader with a health care solution for all Canadians. Someone who provides a voice for the environment. We need a leader with integrity and honesty. We need a fresh new voice in Parliament. Together we can have a smart economy, strong communities and true democracy. It's time. Vote Green. In the election of 2008, nearly one million Canadians voted green. They cast their ballots for a better future, for a positive vision of Canada. People realize the Green Party has gone far beyond its environmental roots to create an exciting movement dedicated to forging a new future for our country, one where we all work together to make Canada better. The Green Party is the only party in Canada with a comprehensive plan for our future. A plan that we live and breathe every day, not one that we just trot out for elections. We believe in our ideas. Our plan, Vision Green, is on our website, available 365 days a year, every day, every year. The Green Party is the only opposition party to have tabled our deficit cutting plan with the Parliamentary Budget Office to ensure we did our homework and our numbers will hold. We are more than you think. Read our platform for yourself at greenparty.ca. You're in for a nice surprise. You'll discover a new and unique voice, sensible and smart, one you've probably been waiting to hear. If you're tired of simply voting against things, we give you something you can vote for. If you're looking for a serious, realistic and sensible option to the old line parties and old school politics, you'll be amazed at the innovative, practical solution Greens have developed. If you're looking for an economic, social and environmental vision for Canada that isn't just focused on winning the next election, the Green Party will be just what you've been searching for. Our entire platform is built on three guiding ideas. A smart economy, strong communities and true democracy. A smart economy is a green economy. It turns old industry blue-collar jobs into new industry green-collar jobs. It focuses on value-added production and generates green products that will be in demand in tomorrow's markets. A smart economy is efficient, bringing greater competitiveness and prosperity to the entire country. It is real people building real things. And a smart economy lives within its means. The Green Party has a workable, realistic plan to get Canada out of deficit. We've provided a detailed budget overview on our website. See for yourself why a green budget makes so much sense. The second focus of Green's comprehensive plan is to build strong communities. Strong communities are defined by more than geography. A community is people living together, taking care of each other, and having time for each other. The Green Party will strengthen our communities by improving transportation so that you can get where you're going quickly, efficiently, and safely will ensure that all communities have clean and healthy water. And we'll focus on the things that make us love where we live. These are things we all have in common. Playgrounds, bike paths, green spaces, community gardens, decent housing, strong schools, and a public health care system that addresses all aspects of our well-being. The Green Party will improve our quality of life by addressing the balance between work and home. This will give us all a more human life with time for what really matters. Building strong communities means creating opportunities for young and older Canadians alike. We're all part of this country and all deserve to have our voices heard and our needs met. The third and final part of our green plan is restoring true democracy to our country. Canadian democracy is in trouble. Power is increasingly centralized. Individual MPs, your voices in Parliament, are becoming more and more irrelevant. Question period is a daily showcase for behaviour we would not tolerate from our children. It has sunk to the lowest levels of rudeness and incivility in living memory. There is no cooperation. There is no effort at consensus. It's time to restore true democracy and put the power where it belongs, in the hands of Canadians. 
True democracy means making every vote count. More than votes, it means engaging and debating respectfully. It means working together to find a cooperative and positive way forward. As Canadians, we take pride in a global reputation for civility and cooperation. Our instincts run to generosity and compassion. Let's embrace that. While Canada reduces waste in its economy and industry, it should also stop wasting votes. We need to create a fairer electoral system that accurately reflects the will of voters. True democracy also means true global leadership. In the past, other nations in our global village looked to Canada for leadership in peacekeeping and peacemaking, in disarmament and in environmental sustainability. It's time for Canada to step up and once again play the leadership role it has forsaken in recent years. A smart economy, strong communities and true democracy. These are the foundations of the Green Platform, a platform you can explore for yourself at greenparty.ca. Coming up, find out what you can do to make a difference, how the future of our great country is in your hands, and how you can use your power to make huge changes. This is our Canada, land of natural beauty, pristine fresh water, and clean air. What will tomorrow's Canada look like? The Green Party of Canada is committed to improving the environment and making our country a better place to live. May 2nd, it's time. Vote Green. Hi, my name is Elizabeth May. I'm the leader of the Green Party of Canada. And in this election, you have a chance to make history. You can make history by sending a message to Ottawa that you're tired of negative politicking, you're sick of partisanship that gets in the way of solutions. By voting for the Green Party and sending our MPs to Ottawa, you'll put to work people who don't care who gets the credit. We just want to get things done. We have a vision that you can embrace. A vision for a healthy Canada, a greener Canada, for a future in which our communities are strong. We've modernized our economy, creating millions of new jobs. That future lies in wait for all of us if we just act together now. By voting green, you'll be sending a message. You'll be sending hardworking, dedicated people of integrity to represent you in Parliament. In this election, make history. Vote green. voting for this election. Someone who represents a new generation in Canadian politics. An MP who will address the really tough environmental issues. Who's willing to look at the long term. Someone who will preserve our natural resources. An MP who shares my values. Who doesn't just talk about being tough on crime. Here in Saanich Gulf Islands, we have an amazing opportunity. In this election, we can make history. It's time. Vote Green. Democracy in Canada is on the verge of collapse. Canadians have disengaged from their own democracy because election after election, we've been offered negative politicking in place of a real vision for our country. There is an alternative. The essential elements of a functional democracy are a free and independent media, a well-informed and engaged electorate, and high levels of participation on voting day. How can we restore those elements? In order to make democracy work in this country again and make every Canadian feel like they're an important part of our future, changes need to be made now. We need to set aside aggressive, combative politics to allow the public to believe there are people and policies worth voting for. Parties should be willing to work together in the interest of protecting future generations. We need to reform our voting system to allow proportional representation so everyone's vote counts. We must rebalance the power structure in Ottawa. Global warming, health care, youth unemployment, education and international affairs should be occupying our members of parliament. Today, issues are dealt with solely in terms of winning the next election. Consequently, there are no long-term goals, no forward thinking and no vision for the future just a self-centered marketing scheme to destroy the other parties while ensuring power remains highly concentrated in the Prime Minister's office. 
We need reasonable people cooperatively choosing their future, not an antagonistic power struggle between people with competing visions. A full, free and functioning democracy is not something we should lose without a fight. We must not be driven by fear or seduced by creature comforts into allowing democracy to slip between our fingers. It's time for all Canadians to wake from our long political slumber and realize that there will not be change unless we insist upon it. Our democracy is precious. It is worth fighting for. The Green Party wants to help change the culture of politics from a confrontational, competitive field to one where great cooperation and respect is possible. Politics shouldn't be a game. It should be the exercise by a free and responsible people of the democratic right to choose their own future. In the Green Party platform, you will find a vision for a modern, smart economy that reduces the deficit, creates new jobs that won't be gone tomorrow, and doesn't rely on generating pollution to generate energy. We see a future Canada with vibrant, well-educated, and motivated citizens living in healthy communities, eating safe and healthy food, and enjoying a life-giving, healthy, natural world. In our platform, you will find a renewal of Canada. You will find a return to dignity and respect. You'll find reforms to put power back where it belongs, in your hands. Let's engage one another. From school civics classes to the pages of newspapers, blog sites, and internet magazines, we can reclaim democracy. We can return power to the voters and to each of the members of parliament we elect. Slowly but surely, we have lost much of what made our democracy real. To get it back, we must all work together. To put power back into the hands of the voters, we have to get involved ourselves. Politics is not a spectator sport. It's up to all of us to take back control of our government and our country. In the last election, nearly a million Canadians voted for the Green Party. A million people who decided that there is a positive alternative to the outdated ideas of the old school political parties. In this election, the Green Party is stronger than ever with a vibrant leader and over 300 dedicated local candidates offering innovative, practical platforms with real solutions to Canada's problems. We invite you to join us and become part of the solution. Together, we can change Canada's political landscape and create a new and better country, one where every voice counts and where we deal together with the issues that affect us all. We believe in a bright, positive future where we build on our mutual strengths to make our country a better place to live and work. Don't say I'm mad as hell, I don't take it anymore. <laughs> say I've got hope in my heart and I know we can have a better world. I know we can restore Canada to a proper place in the world. I'm hopeful as all get out. This is your chance to make history. It's time to change course in this country and take a bold new direction towards our future. It's time to turn over a new leaf and stand up for true democracy. It's time to vote green. The preceding was a paid program brought to you by the Green Party of Canada.